In this tutorial, I'm going to show you two methods how to send files with ProtonMail. I'm going to show you how to do this on a desktop PC, so it should work pretty well on Windows, Linux, and Mac computers. However, it will be different for mobile devices. So the first thing that you want to do is log into your webmail. And once you've done that, just click on the new message button on the top left. Now a new message window has popped up. So the next thing you want to do is add an address that you want to send the files to. I'm just going to add my own address here as an example and then type in a title. Then type in a message. There we go. Now once you've done this, then you can start adding some files. So the first way that you can add a file is by adding an attachment, but the file size limit is about 25 megabytes, I think. So you can only add smaller files. So the way that you do that is you click the attachments icon on the lower right to the left of the send button. Just click on that and then select the file from your hard drive, like I, for example, selecting this test PDF files, and then just click on open once you're ready. There we go. Now the file has been uploaded to this email message. And if I send it right now, the file will be sent along with it. And uh, that's all fine. But if you want to add bigger files, files that are bigger than 25 megabytes, then you have to use an external service and just add a link to the file into the email message itself. So these services are, for example, Google Drive, OneDrive, Mega, and there are like Mediafire. There's plenty of these services around. The one I'm going to use for this example is easyupload.io. It requires no registration and is free for, for the public to use. And you can upload a maximum of 50 files, 10 gigabytes per file. So you can upload like huge files, like uh, raw video files even, and then a total of 250 gigabytes. So your files will be stored for a maximum of 30 days, which is kind of the downside with this as a free user. But if you have a premium account, then you can store files forever. So um, the, basically how you add files with this is you go to the website easyupload.io, which will also be linked in the video description. And then you click here where it says click here or drop files to upload. You just left click there. And then you select the file from your hard drive, just like we did with the attachment. And once you're done, click on open. And the next thing you want to do is select the expiration. So you can just click here and then select one day, seven days, 15 days, 30 days, or never if you have a premium account. I'm just going to select one day. Now, if you want this file to be accessible for the public, then just leave the pa file password blank. But if you want uh, restricted access to the file so that if no someone stumbles upon it, uh, they can't just open it, then you want to add a password. So I'm just going to type in a, a really bad password for your please type in a better password for your file, but uh, that's basically how you do it. So if you want a, a file password, you have that option. So then you just click on upload and then just wait for the file to be uploaded. There we go, the file has been uploaded. And the next thing you wanna do is copy this URL to your clipboard. So you can just press this icon here to the, to the right just press it and it copies it to your clipboard. Now, next thing you want to do is go back to ProtonMail and then just uh, paste this link, Control V or right click and paste. Paste the link there. And if you want, you can also add the password. Add the password to the email message if you want uh, or tell, tell them in some other way what the password is. Now, the next thing you want to do is just click on the send button. And there we go. Now that's uh, how you do it. That's how you send files with ProtonMail. And uh, if this tutorial was helpful, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys in another video.